Yeah, he, that guy yeah. sucked. He was my least favorite. He lo lowest in the power rankings by far. Uh, I don't. Well, if we're going on the the, the whole show, no, no, you go by season. Otherwise, uh, okay. it's just convoluted. Because remember, there was that one guy who didn't even make it into the pod. Like, 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 Gerson. He cracked in the uh, in the holding cell. No, he cracked know? in a Marriott. He didn't even get in. Oh, I wasn't even going to make fun of that poor little man. Uh, yeah, he didn't even make it in. He was at the hotel. That little man did not need to be in there. And I've called him little man yeah. three times in a row now for a very good reason. He is the most tiny human being I've ever seen who didn't. He, how, 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 sm did you, did you see that guy with your own eyes? How tiny is he? I don't know if he was on the same season. As, oh, as okay. yeah, I didn't think he was, but but he, no, no, he was but named, he so that, that led me astray. When, when he was given an excuse, he said, I'm 5'3 and little. I, I will give it. We're losing you a bit, Mark. We lost you on that one. He knew his limitations. Oh, are you? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hmm. I, think, I, think, I think you're okay. Yeah, yeah. you were saying, uh, you're saying he knew his limitations. Well, he didn't before he signed up. He learned his limitations. He learned as he was watching free porn at that Marriott that night. <laughs> did he do that? I don't know um, if he did that. But he, uh, he, no he, he failed at the Marriott. He didn't even get pretend arrested yet. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't really want to do it. And uh, I just want to go back to my job making candy at the Wonka factory. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know like here. This, this is a bad hey, idea. You guys, can you we can hear you now. now. Yeah, you're good now. Okay, sorry about that. I, I'm going to give the guy credit where credit's due, though. He knew his limitations. Because let's be honest, if he had gone into Fulton <laughs> County, and I'm from the Atlanta, Georgia area, so I know Fulton County, dude, I wouldn't have called. In fact, just to give you kind of a heads up, when you go through the whole interview process, the only reason why I agreed to go to Pinal County is I did some research. If they told me, like, Fulton County or doggone uh, uh, Rikers Island or L.A. County, I wouldn't have done it. But yeah. so I give the guy at least credit to say, "Hey, I'm I can't do this." That guy's biggest so, limitation is being able to get on roller coasters. Jesus Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I ride the Batman? <laughs> you're really you're way nicer than me. Fuck that guy. You we're not entertaining in any way. You should have left the spot open for someone who would have taken it more seriously. Because there was someone who yeah. got booted from that shit who would have actually give a fuck, given a fuck. And, and yeah. that guy, not that was disappointing. But Are you sure I, that he wasn't good content in a different way? You know, like it, not everyone needs to be a surprise success. That That's that's just one piece of the puzzle in a good show. I now agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But if you, if you look at the, stare, the, the casting of each season, we're all pretty much the same people. They have mm -hmm. to cast the, the tough guy. They got to cast the awkward, weird guy. For me, you know, I can think of past people. A lot of people have compared me because they say I look like uh, Jeff from season one. And Jeff's a great dude. Jeff's the guy that got hit. He was the security guard that wanted to be the uh, corrections officer. Oh. And, uh, and But you always have the goofy guy, which was me and I guess Jeff and uh, uh, Matt's son from season five. You know, the, 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 you know, the father-son couple. You know, they, they have, it seems like they have their own stereotypes that they want to put in. And, uh, but I think it's here that really di dictates how well you'll do. Who was the really and, athletic uh, black guy, Taylor? Did, did, oh. Oh, I, if, if you remember, Mark, tell me, I, I, which season on Mark's season? Talk, or on, on my seasons are a little mixed up. I watched him on your stream, though. Then it was either seasons three, it was probably seasons five. He might have been a cop or one of the David. Be. You're talking David. about David. Yeah, David. Am I? How did he do? He was super well, strong. He was jacked. I think I called him a wide receiver on a different episode. Like, he looked like he could be a pro athlete. Very fit. Very fit. Yeah, I want Mark's take on it. I love David. I mean, honestly, a lot of people love to talk smack about David because of how our season ended. And Woody, I don't know if you remember, but David was the guy that uh, he blew the whole season. Um, he told uh, he told the corrections officer who he supposedly who he was, and then uh, and then he mm -hmm. told one of the inmates who he was, who in turn went over back to Abner's pod because him and Abner had beef uh, in the beginning, and then started getting everybody, you know, telling everybody that there was more to Abner than uh, met the eye, and almost got him jumped. So Abner actually had to tap out. In fact, 
that's my source of pride. I'm the big goofy guy, but I'm the last male to get pulled from the pot from uh from my season. So um nice little badge but, you got. It's true. A lot of people talk smack about him. I don't know what happened. He's he denies a lot of it. And to be honest, with so much editing on the show, some of us don't know what to believe. Mm. Whereas how mm. much is truth, how much is editing? And because uh, he claims a lot of it didn't happen. Um, but what I do know for a fact is I was with him. Like, I love all my participants, every single one of them. But the only participant I saw on a consistent basis after the hotel and after going into jail was David. And I think the world of David. David's a great dude. He's a solid dude. Um, you know, he's still in law enforcement. Um, uh, and I know a lot. He gets a lot of hate from the uh, public as being the guy to screw up our season because as a result of what he did, we all got pulled. But I think the world of David, man. 